and Steve Burt. Burt, the third leading scorer in the CBA, 24 per game for Oklahoma City when he was called up in late February, finally signed for the year March 5th. And the type of effort player who can have an impact on an effort driven game like this one. Uh, Seaborn was awesome in New York. It was so many great players, so many centers that were open that gave us opportunity to play. Uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful experience. But the guys that didn't make it uh, sometimes were better than the guys that hit most of the time. So. And, and where did you go to school at? I went to uh, high school. I went to Charles Evans Hughes uh, down on 18th Street. Then I went to Iona College. Uh, from there, I was drafted into the NBA, played in Europe. Steve Burt on the corner. How about you do it, Iona? Uh, I finished up the all-time leading scorer, uh, 2,534 points. My son, mine, I'm born there. He finished up second, 2,034. So, uh, when did you, uh, your fire come from? When I was 11, my father died on Father's Day, and my mother died five months later on November 20th. So that's where the fire came from. You know, I was, uh, I was sad, I was angry, I was had a lot of things. And basketball actually saved my life because uh, Without it, you know, that fire would have went some, into other things, and that would have been a problem for me and, and others as well. So basketball truly saved my life. Man. PAL was great, man. We had Bubba, we had Gilbert Earl, we had Lamar Dyson, we had Mr. Allen, we had Mr. Muzan, right? The center was open late night. The center was open in the morning. You could work uh, some of youth corps, right? If you got in trouble, you gonna get in trouble, right? They watched over you like parents. It was beautiful, man. Beautiful. Fifth PAL, that's right. I remember Conrad McCray had a thousand dunks. That's what I remember. I don't even remember my points. I remember him flying all over the place, right? Remember that game? Because <laughs> he, he, in the beginning of the game, he was killing. He had like the first 10 to 15 points in the beginning. And then Conrad McCray came in, he started dunking on that. Flying, he's flying. Flying. <laughs> Who's on that team? Uh, Derek Kendrick. Tony Hargrave. Like that one. My son was mostly, it was I own a team, but we picked up a couple other guys. Alex Middleton was coaching us, uh, Conrad McCray. I think Speedy played that game. Uh, a couple other guys, man, but it was it was great. It was, Dorian did play, yeah, Tony Hargraves and Dorian also played, yeah, Dorian did play. Yeah, that was our crew, that was our, we won the program five years in a row with that same crew. West clears and leads Burke. Elliott with a great effort. Gets it yeah, we played. Uh, we usually played together with myself and Gary. We were, we were the same age group. Rory, Tony, those guys played together. But it, it helped us because we came back and we, we were ready. You know, it's time to roll out. Played at King Towers. King Towers was everything. <laughs> King Towers, the Whitney M. Young, and the Pro Ruck. I couldn't wait to play in the Pro Ruck. I had to wait till I finished college. But uh, at King Towers, man, was something serious. Uh, Whitney M. Young was something serious. You're the best tournaments, best tournaments ever, man. What was your nickname? All day. Still my nickname. All day. <laughs> All day. And his son's nickname is the, uh, the coming? They call him the Saga Continues, so I guess I'm also the Saga, right? He's the Saga Continues. I didn't know I was the Saga, but I guess I am, right? <laughs> What's your name again? Steve Bird. I own the college, 84. John Superbata, Ottimo Assistant. poi sicuramente lo conosciamo bene mentre parla